Ah, oh, damn it. And there's a dose of reality for you, eh? There we go. Come on, buddy. going into reverse. the spin, don't we? Oh, out of fuel. Well, 
the truck is all the way back there. There's my work truck. So I'm going to shut this bugger off now. And Here, let's take it out of there. See, look. Another one of my fancy ideas. You steal it, I'm going to sue you. See, iPod. I wish uh, I can't really show you my iPhone thing. But my iPhone slides right into there. See, sneaky, sneaky. I got a lot of tricks I got. There's some cool stuff I want to show you guys. I'm just a heavy-duty mechanic, but look at that. Who can't tell me that that's cool and doesn't look like I bought it in a store? Like it fits right on there. Look at that. Bang on right in the center. Oh, sorry. It wiggled over a bit. There. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the phone just drops right into there. It clamps down. I got a rubber, a rubber holder for the phone. And away I go. Uh, here's the Revo. Here, let's... Uh, well, I got you here. I'm going to put this back in the, in the holder here for a sec. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry. There we go. Okay, I got you in the holder here. Let's see if I can't show you these Revo lights. I hooked them up a while ago. I think I've got them in another little video, but I'm not too sure. So, here's my Revo lights. Just a quick 10-minute install. You buy a Y connector. Uh, buy two Y connectors. Because uh, I, I used mine so I could cut it apart so I could have a parts Y connector. And see, I don't know if I can see it in there or not. There you go, see? That lights for nighttime driving. Uh... Oh, sorry, I forgot what I was just saying. Um, I'm not too sure what I was just saying. But anyways, there's the Revo, covered in snow. Uh, it's getting pretty dark around here. I think it's 4.30, quarter to 5 or so. New subdivision just over by my house. Figured, ah, I took these to the shop today anyways to show them off. And a bunch of the guys at the shop got their Revos and stuff, but nothing's, nothing, I don't know. I don't know whether I think mine is just ordin like extraordinarily cool or what. See, look at this. She's getting a tow job. See? And if I was smart enough, I would have brought the other controller. And the Toyota could have pulled the Revo home, but oh well, maybe next time. There she is. The quad. See, look, I could have even took the emergency quad. That would have got me home. But then I would have had to come back. You know, reality sucks. But these RC things are pretty neat. See, there's the poor old work truck. Who's sitting there waiting. But yeah, I'm, uh, as you can see, I'm towing her back. She's just too long to carry with all the stuff in my hands. Uh, there's actually a good shot of the underneath of my Revo. Look how new that bugger is, eh? This thing was a pile of crap. See, people, custom paint your bumpers. It's... For the extra 10 minutes, everything matches, everything's hunky-dory. Yeah, there's uh, guys at the shop and they have their own trailers and stuff, but nothing, nothing like mine. I tried to make mine at least look normal. There you got theirs made out of hockey sticks and this and that and no, if I'm gonna make something, I'd like it to look good. I guess that's why I ripped apart my initial trailer, sorry. I was just putting everything away in my truck. Uh, there's the Revo. See, I love that Apple sticker. And there's some nice still footage of the buggery. Here's my new trailer. Let me do a quick little walk around here. Sorry, here I'll uh, I'll shut this noisy pig off for a sec. There. Okay. Uh, there's the. The quad, I'm pretty sure everybody knows about the quad. My daughter's Toyota. And the Revo. Look at that bugger. Ain't she a beaut? With all that weight and everything bouncing around on the tongue, she's still... Well, right now it's it's sagged because I'm stopped. But the next bump I hit, the bugger comes right back up. And while it is minus 18 Celsius, I'm not too sure what that works out in Fahrenheit. But I'm getting damn cold. The engine or the oil in the shocks is cold. It's it is really stiff right now. But uh, yeah, remember that trailer I was building? Here's what I did to her. Sorry, it's covered in snow. See, I got this one all set up to open. I gotta do the other one tonight or the next day. Aluminum checker plate box. 
I got my own little A-frame up here. There's my hitch. I got an actual hitch pin. See? Dunk. Out do we go. And off comes the trailer. Uh, I've got, I made my own bungee cords. You can, well, you buy your own bungee cords. I just cut them apart after. Uh, there's my suspension I've made. Oh, you can't see it. It's so dark. Sorry, guys. There's the suspension. You can kind of see it there. See the two red springs, one on either side. Uh, walking beam. And, yeah, you can't see the other side at all. I gotta make something a little nicer to attach the A-frame. Um, it works, you can't really see it, but it's good. Uh, the bungee cords, you just buy your own bungee cords at the dollar store, is where I got mine from. And I took them home and I cut them apart. And I uh, repositioned them, just to make them shorter is all, just so everything fit where it was supposed to. Everything's on its little tie-down clips. See, I got little clips there and there. Oh, sorry. There, and there's a couple up front. There's some underneath. There's, I made these little uh, brass spikes up here so you can, uh, so the Toyota will stop as opposed to just carry it on. As, as you can see, it is, it will go right over top of here. The pumpkin drops right into the belly. And yeah, she will go right over. So I made these little stoppers there just to bunk, you stop her. Uh, I don't know if you guys got to see the mud flaps or anything, but I put mud flaps on the bugger, uh, the box, I made my own suspension, I made this whole trailer, there isn't one part bought in except for the, well the rims I didn't even buy, the rims are off, all from the restoration when I restored my Revo, so I didn't really pay for anything on there, it was all just, well eventually I guess I paid for it all, it was all just wood laying at the house and little bits of steel here and there and I had the old brazing tank, the fuel already, and so it wasn't actually, you see that guys? Watch, watch here, uh, sorry you can't see my arm, but I'm going to throw this bugger, 